Got it. Welcome back, beloved Zoom friends. Great to see you. If you're brand new watching this on YouTube, please leak a, a like and subscribe. It helps spread meditation and peace around a world that could sorely, that sorely needs it. Anyway, Looney says hello. He's chilling with us. This is Looney, the yoga cat. Anyway, I'm sure many of you, I know my Zoom friends have read a great amount of spiritual books and religious material and a lot of the world scriptures from all of its many beautiful angles. And for me personally, I think the the most personal story, and I'll, I'll be very brief with it, is the story of the prodigal son, just because it really resonates with me. And it just represents, uh-oh, prodigal cat, bye. <clears throat> Important cat business in the other room. Anyway, the uh, prodigal son represents a soul that has wandered so far into delusion and ignorance and forgetfulness, suffering and misery. And then suddenly there's this ignition, this eruption of remembrance inside of that soul. That's like this, this suffering and this misery, this ignorance is not right. And I'm, I'm going back home. And, you know, the great line in the scripture is I shall arise and go into my father. It's one of the most, uh, significant moments in all of the world scriptures because it you know it represents that that um, moment of clarity inside of a soul when a soul says you know enough is enough i'm i'm going back home i'm gonna remember who i am i'm gonna go back to my father's house so to speak the language of course is quite optional as long as it represents this again another technical religious word repenting which means I've been going in one direction and now I'm going to turn and go the correct direction. And the topic this whole week will be this turn and how to facilitate it, how to accelerate it. Because another great aspect of the story in the scripture is that while the prodigal son turns and makes his trudging, trotting walk back home, at least he starts moving in that direction. But the thing that brings me to tears when I, and I'll try not to blubber today, but God rushes out to meet him. And so that's the key is God reeling us back in. And when I think of being reeled back in by God, I think of, you know, you're out in a, you're out in one of them boats where they go onto the deep sea and they fish for a really, the really big, strong fish. Sorry if you're a fish lover, but you know, marlins and tunas and God only know, I, I don't, but that the fish gets caught and then they let the fish run and you can see the reel extending out for a long time. And this is us as we uh, take our free will and our preferences and our choices and our predilections and we go racing off from God, so to speak. And all of us have done it in a different way. We've all gone off in different angles. We've all forgotten in a variety of ways. We've all been involved in a variety of personal adventures and misadventures. We all have our own personal quirks and foibles, don't we? But we've all been running for a long time, right? But some, if you're on this call and you're listening to this, something that ha has happened inside of you that's very precious, very wonderful, very remarkable, you've said to yourself, uh, I'm going back home. I've had a moment of clarity. I." the call of God, love, source, infinite, higher organizing principle, the call of who I really am has ignited inside of me. And I can't, I can't avoid that anymore. Now that hasn't happened for everyone. It will, but it hasn't. And it doesn't make sense to everyone. And some people don't think that there's such a thing or think that we're delusional or think that we're mushy minded or think that we're, we're involved in some sort of silliness, but we know. And when We've heard that call and enough suffering is enough. We let God reel us back in. And the key to that, and we'll talk about it all week long, is God knows how to bring us back in. And oftentimes we don't. We get stuck. We get caught. We get caught up. And usually in those moments we struggle. But when we remember more and more, God knows how to get us out of the weeds, get us out of the thorns, get us out from when we're stuck behind rocks or underneath uh, uh, obstacles. 
And the key to that, of course, is relax and surrender. And that's where our meditation comes in. So I think I've ex I think I've revealed the topic for the week, but the topic this week, since you've had your moment of clarity, you've repented, so to speak, you're walking back home is let God reel you back in through relaxation, surrender, humility, love and diligent practice. Anyway, we'll continue later in tomorrow. See ya.